The brand new Pokemon card set, Silver Tempest, is officially here. And with it comes the final trainer gallery set of Sword and Shield. Now I've had some awesome pulls from the Silver Tempest pre-release events, but there's still some incredible cards I need to add to the binder. So drop a like on this video, drop a sub on the channel, and let's rip into this booster box. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the show. I've got an entire booster box here of Silver Tempest. Let's break right into this. Main cards that I'm looking for today obviously would be the Lugia V alternate art, the Rayquaza V Max from the Trainer Gallery, but honestly, any of the alternate arts would be awesome. I've already gotten really lucky and pulled one from an Elite Trainer box last week, so let's see how this booster box will do if we can pull something better out of this one. I guess we'll set the packs right there. Let's start with the right side. First pack here, first booster box of Lost Origin. Always love getting to crack a booster box when a new set comes out. There's so many cards that I still need, but I've been pretty lucky so far. Can I open this pack? I've been pretty lucky so far and had some incredible pulls from the pre-release events, the ETB and the little build and battle kits. Let's get four to the front. We're gonna card trick every single one of these. Fighting energy. Let's fight our way to some packs. I'm a little thrown off today, guys. This week has been crazy. Huge shout out to everyone for enjoying the new graphics and the new channel name. I honestly have been so nervous about it. It's something I've been thinking about doing since around 10,000 subscribers. So it's been in the works for a minute here. Really stoked that I finally did it. And I'm really, really happy that you guys are happy with it too. Here we go. Another code card. Nothing so far from that first pack. Let's see if we can get some early early pack magic i'm coming up with a new phrase it's not first pack magic it's not last pack magic it's just early pack magic let's see what we can pull within these first few here out of the booster box halucha rufflet rotom and there we go mawile v star going into the binder first hit from this booster box let's drop the mawile v into a sleeve now i'm not sure usually when a set comes out i open one booster box and then i'll do like 36 of the single blister packs. I'll do uh, six of the three pack blisters to match a booster box. Kind of just test out my pull rates with different stuff. But this might be the first set that I actually open two booster boxes of just because there's so many awesome cards that I want to pull. More Pekka, more Pico. We got Slurpuff, Sunkern, Clink, Petal, the Litten, Murkrow, Chinchow, and Cobalion for the non-hollow rare. We're gonna blast through these guys. I know you've seen a ton of Silver Tempest opened already. I really appreciate you're here hanging out with me today. And let me know in the comments too, have you guys opened some up already? This video should be coming out on Saturday, the day after the, the official release. So let me know what you guys have pulled, what you picked up. Did you get a booster box? Did you get just ETBs, building battle kits? We got the Zubat. Elgem, the Slurpuff, and Fioni for our non hollow rare. Am I saying that one wrong? I'm definitely saying that one wrong. You guys can tell by my name what my favorite generation is, and honestly, it's a little hard to remember some of the latest ones. And I know that it's like we're all PokeTubers and stuff, and some people think like, oh wow, you, you know, you should really, really know every single name. To me, that's like going up to somebody in the band shirt and asking them to name three songs. You know, we're all Pokemon fans. Let's go. Swirlix, we've got Marini, Indeedy, Ball Toy, Swirlix, and the Hollow Aridos for our rare. One of the last hollows that I needed for the binder, too. I feel like there's, maybe it's just what I've been pulling, but I feel like there's a lot of hollows in Silver Tempest, and whenever that happens, I feel like I end up pulling them a lot more than anything else. Let's get four to the front here. Really sad to see the trainer gallery go. I think it's been awesome that uh, having a trainer gallery in the last few sets gives you a chance to pull something from every pack, no matter what, and I think that's really cool. non hollow Victini for the rare. All right, getting through this side, the right side here. I don't want you guys to sit here all day blasting through these packs. Honestly, I will be shocked if there's a Lugia in here because for me in the past, for all the sets that I've opened, I think Evolving Skies was my best booster box opening. I hit two uh, alternate arts from that box. Let's see if it can happen again though. Pikachu, Noibat, never say never, right? Toga tomorrow, and the non hollow Miss Magus for the rare. So far from this right side of the booster box, one V Star and one hollow. Let's keep it going. Feeling confident though. And like I said, I think this might be the first time that I actually open a second booster box. 
because like because I normally normally just do one, but I really want to pull that Lugia V alternate art. We've got Braxen, Swablu, Rotom, Bunnery, Dreepy, Fanpy, Zara Aura for the reverse, and the Alolan Vulpix V for our rare. Let's drop this into a sleeve. So far though, halfway through this right side, and all we've hit is one V and one V star. So like I said, maybe my booster bucks bo booster bucks, maybe my booster box luck is not as good as I would hope it could be, but still excited to rip through this. Let's get this pack open here. Bam, another code for you. Hopefully you guys are getting some good pulls from the codes too. And what's going on with the uh, the mobile version of the game? I feel like it's been over a year uh, that they've been talking about it coming to um, iOS and Android and stuff. So hopefully we see that soon. non holo Armaldo for the rare that I'm gonna set aside for the binder. Really stoked to just be completing this set. I'm gonna go for a master set, which is every single card plus every single reverse version of the card too, which shouldn't be too, too hard in this one. I know the Lugia is gonna be the hardest one to pull, but let's see, I have a weird feeling that I'm gonna be able to make it happen. We've got the Litten, Murkrow, Noibat, and the Hollow Dragonite. Really love that artwork on the Dragonite there, even just for a Hollow. And like I said the first time I opened Silver Tempest, is it just me? Did I move the studio lights around or something? Or do the Hollows seem just a little more vibrant than they usually are? Bam, another code for you. And four more to the front. Almost halfway through this booster box though, one V and one V star. Nine tails, clay doll, we got Fletchling, Pharisee, Smeargle, Esper, Dratini, Behem, and Talonflame for our non hollow rare. We haven't even hit a trainer gallery yet. What is going on? Maybe I grabbed the wrong booster box here. I do have two of them. And like I've said now, probably four times, I think I do want to open up that second one. Let's get this pack out of the way. Bam, another code for you. Four more to the front. Hope everybody is enjoying their weekend too. So many cards dropping, so many sets being announced, being leaked and stuff like that. Feels like it's getting kind of crazy again on knowing what you want to pre-order, what's on the way. Regenerative, regenerative energy and the non-hollow Lilligant for the rare. Okay, this booster box is not looking too good. Let's keep it going here. Maybe this right side has all of the hits in the back. Another code for you. And we got four more to the front. Bam, fire energy. I got to say it. I gotta say it, let's see some fire pulls here. We've got the Emo Emolga, Beldum, Sun Stunfisk, Vulpix, Snow Runt. Our first trainer gallery out of the box is the only other really trainer gallery that I've pulled so far. Braxen, can we double it up? There we go with the full art Magirna V. Okay, let's drop these into a sleeve. Looks like this box had all of the hits in the back on the right side. Obviously, every box is different. Bam, into a sleeve. And let's get this full art Magirna V. That's actually some awesome artwork there. I really like the green and the silver. Let's keep it going. Couple more packs on this first side here. And we'll get into the left side of the booster box. Do you guys have any uh, superstitions like that? Like, which side of the box is better? Do you always pull from the right side? Do you always pull from the front? Do you always pull from the back? You know, if like you're in a shop grabbing a pack, I kind of just grab random ones here and there. We've got Fletchrinder, Ralts, Spinda, Pikachu, Noibat, Togedemaru, Meditite, and the non hollow Incineroar for our rare. One that I needed again for the binder. Lugia pack art. I actually saw someone pull the Lugia V from the Lugia pack art, which to me is crazy. I know to some people they, they're they just like, whatever, it's, you know, anything could be in anything, which is true. But I always think it's awesome when you get the chase pull from the chase pack art. V-Guard Energy, Toracat, Feebas, Litten, we've got Rufflet, Finnekin, Durant, Zubat in our trainer gallery spot, and the non holo Zygarde for the rare. Okay, three packs left on the right side, and so far a full art, a trainer gallery, a V star, and a V. Let's see, I don't know. Either everything's hiding in the left side or this booster box is gonna be a little empty. Another code for you. four more to the front. Really would like to complete ah, this trainer gallery by pulling it instead of trading, but I really like to trade cards too. We got Jinx, the psychedelic Jinx art, Chin Chow, Meditite, Dewpiter, Ponyta, Venonat, Matang, 
and the hollow Terrakion for the rare. Okay, I'm gonna push all of these cards out of the way. And two more packs here on the right side. Let's rip into these. Hopefully the left side of this box is hiding all of the pulls, but you guys know me. I'm stoked just to be hanging out, opening packs, adding new cards to the binder, even if they're commons and uncommons. I love everything that's Pokemon. Here we go, Quad Stone, Regenerative Energy, cards falling everywhere, Pikachu, Growlithe. As you can tell, I changed the, the studio up a little bit. I put the camera back in the old corner that it used to be in. Bam, Zaraora for our non holo rare. Let's see, last pack here from the right side, Alolan Vulpix pack art. Kind of interesting that they put the Alolan Vulpix on the front of the ETB. I know there's already been an ETB with Lugia on the front, but would have been cool to get the Lugia on there. Four to the front here, finishing off the right side of this booster box, we have got the Torcat, Dragonair. That's some great artwork on the Dragonair. Fletchling, Ferroseed, Smeargle, Esper, Dratini, Sol Solaces for our reverse. You can hear the cards falling everywhere. And the Hisuian Arcanine V right on. Let's drop you into a sleeve. That's the whole right side of the booster box. Let's start off with this left side here. I'm just gonna grab all the packs and take them out. Do you guys remember that one time there was one pack hiding behind this? All right, good. Got all the packs out. Let's keep it going here. I'm feeling confident about the second side of this booster box. And in general, just so stoked to be opening a whole box of Silver Tempest. Gonna be kind of a, a bittersweet thing to see Sword and Shield go. It's when I started my channel, there, it's already incredibly uh, nostalgic to me, which is weird. I know it's only been around for a few years, but definitely gonna be sad to see Sword and Shield go, but I'm really excited for Scarlet and Violet too. We've got the Petal and Radiant Jirachi. There we go, getting some hits already from the left side. What's Radiant Jirachi hiding? A Leafy Camo Poucho. Leafy Camo Poncho for our gold rare. Look at that, let's drop these into a sleeve. Honestly, some of the gold cards don't really grab me. I wish they would keep doing more of the Pokemon golds. I still never pulled the gold Snorlax. Might have to go back and try. Here we go, drop in the Leafy Camo Poncho into a sleeve. And from a lot of the booster box openings I've seen, that seems to be a pretty common uh, gold card to pull there. So let's see what else is in this box. I feel like I just accidentally saw something hiding in this one. Here we go. Also so cool that there's still a trainer gallery in this. Really sad to see that it's disappearing, but maybe they'll come up with something new for it. I'm really stoked to see the Crown Zenith cards come out in January. Stone Jorner for the reverse and the non hollow Keldeo for the rare. Let's keep it going on this left side here. Stoked to be adding these cards to the binder. Gonna go out after this and start searching for some uh, three packs and 36 of those single packs. Cause whenever a set comes out, I wanna do that too. Kinda open a, a booster box worth of each product. Here we go, Slurpuff, Honchcrow, Crow Gunk, we've got the Solo, Zubat, Elgin, Fungus, Kling Clang for our reverse and the non hollow Arcanine for the rare. I don't know about this booster box, you guys. I might be getting one of the bad boxes out of the way for all of you, so hopefully you guys are getting some better pulls from yours at home. Here we go, four to the front. Halfway though through, still got a lot of chances left for some awesome pulls from this. And honestly, the gold pull was more than I was expecting so far. So we've got the Rufflet, Finnekin, Durant, Ralts, and oh, the Forest Seal Stone. I think this is such an interesting hollow. It's a trainer that has a V-Star ability. That's really cool. I wonder if we'll see more stuff like that in the future with Scarlet and Violet. Can you imagine like an alternate art trainer card like that? That'd be kind of crazy. Here we go, another code for you, bam. Let me know too in the comments. What are you getting from these codes? Hopefully you're getting some good ones. Psychic Energy, Dedene, Braxen, more Pekka, more Pico, more Pekka. We've got Bunnery, Drowsy, Spinarak, Ralts. Oh, and Milotic from the Trainer Gallery. Somehow I'm doubling up all of my Trainer Gallery pulls and the non holo Kling Clang. Let's drop Milotic into a sleeve. This will be one that I use to trade for the other Trainer Gallery pulls that I'm missing. Let's keep it going here though. So far, duplicates 
and one gold from this booster box. I might have used up all my luck on those build and battle kits and those elite trainer boxes from the other day. Honestly, that's probably one of the best elite trainer boxes that I've ever opened. A secret rare and an alternate art in one box. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. We've got Dratini, Feebas, V-Guard Energy for the reverse, and Reshiram V for the rare. Let's drop you into a sleeve. Okay, maybe all the hits were hiding on the left side of this box. I'm feeling a little more confident now, a little bit more confident in, in the rest of this box. Let's get this pack opened. All these codes out of the way, four to the front. I really like doing the card trick every time too. I know some people like to just blast through them and stuff, and I guess if I was doing more than one booster box, I would, but I love doing the card trick. Here we go, Vulpix. We've got Emo Emolga, Victini in our trainer spot, and the non hollow Frost Lass. Or the rare. Let's keep it going. How many times in my life now have I said non hollow <laughs> for the rare? Here we go. Getting a little better at opening the packs finally. And I definitely saw a border of something hiding in this one. Let's see what we got Darkness Energy, Lance, Clang, Corkroak. We've got Relincanth, Halucha, Togedemaru, The Petal, Pikachu, <laughs> Deruladon V Max from the Trainer Gallery. There we go. Not the Rayquaza, but still really awesome. Definitely needed this one for the binder. Can we double it up with the Superior V Star? Let's go. Let's drop both of these into a sleeve. Looks like this box was hiding all of the pulls on the left side, and there's still a bunch of packs to go. Bam, Deruladon going into the sleeve. Can't believe that I'm hitting some of my big chases from the Trainer Gallery already the last few sets took me a while to pull most of them and I never pulled the Starmie from Astral Radiance which kind of is crazy considering how much Astral Radiance I've opened and considering I hit the Machamp V alternate art twice without the Starmie here we go four more to the front I'm feeling happy about this side of the booster box Lucky Leaf Energy Archon we've got Serena Draclok Vampy, Indeedee, Marini, Mistrevis, Swablu, Dragonite, and the Hollow Articuno. Okay, take that. I think I already had the Hollow Articuno in the binder there, but let's keep it going. I feel like I'm gonna. I feel like there's at least two more good hits hiding in here. I don't know. Watch. Watch it be all the rest just empty. We've got Electric Energy, Professor. We've got the Matang, Toxapex, the Solo, Zubat, Fungus, Sandy Gas, uh, Feebas for the reverse, and the non hollow Amoongus for the rare. Guys, I don't know. Doubling up on a lot of the rare hits. Definitely going to have that completed in the binder. Let's get another code for you. Bam. And four more to the front. Got this V Star marker here. Ninetales, Clay Doll, Hypno, Finnekin, Murkrow, Beldum, Ball Toy, Sunkern. Can we see a trainer gallery? Oh, it's just the Dawn Fan for the reverse and a non hollow Delphox for the rare. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven packs left if I can count. Seven chances here for that Lugia V. So far though, have hit the, a full art and a gold card. So I feel like some of the booster boxes, like getting one like secret rare or alternate art or anything like that is pretty decent. Um, I've definitely seen some without any of that, but as long as I hit one of those from a booster box, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's go the Ralts. Oh no, I'm already seeing the clay doll instead of our trainer gallery. Can we see? Oh, there we go. Okay, the Lugia V, right as I'm talking about the Lugia V alternate art. I'll take it though. Lugia V going into a sleeve. Few more packs left here. Honestly, this is a lot more hits than I was expecting from this booster box. Adding a lot of cards to the binder still too. And I'm really excited to go find some of these other um, products, the three packs and the single packs here. Really excited to see what we can do out of those compared to a booster box. Lucky Leaf Energy, we got Worker, Sunflora, Primordial Altar, the Murkrow, Beldum, Ball Toy, Sunkern, Fampy, Fampy again, and the non hollow Hasurian bravery for the for the rare. I can't talk at all today, guys. I'm pretty exhausted. It's been a wild week of getting a lot of content out, but I'm so stoked that you guys have stuck with me through this name change. What is happening? Is it glued in there? That one was weird. You guys, you ever notice that? Some packs, like the bottom of it is just a little like thinner 
or something in the top and it's like just doesn't want to open fighting energy let's fight our way to a pull we got the whale lord spinda feebas noibat snow runt sandile delphox for the reverse and the non-hollow gardevoir for the rare four packs left here four more chances for something amazing to happen so far have hit a gold but Maybe there's still something good hiding in this booster box. Let's get four to the front. And we got Psychic Energy, Capturing Aroma, Slurpuff, Honchcrow, Rotom, Dreepy, Volpix, Emo Emolga, Chimico, Ponyta for the reverse, and the Hollow Metagross for the rare. Three packs left. Hopefully we can see some last pack magic in here, but huge shout out to everybody that made it to the end of this video. Wishing you guys the best, best luck on Silver Tempest this weekend. I really hope you pull all of those alt arts that you're after. Here we go. Metal Energy, V-Guard Energy, Cat, Dragonair, Pharaseed, Pikachu, Ponyta, Venonat, Dupiter, Low Punny for the reverse, and another non hollow rare. Two packs left here. I'm stoked though. Always happy to open a new booster box of a brand new set. Got a bunch of cards here from today that I'll be adding into the binder. Four more to the front. Two more chances for that Lugia or that Rayquaza VMAX from the trainer gallery. Braxen, Morpeko Morpeko, Indeedy, Marini, Mistrevis, Swablu, Swirlix, Raichu for the reverse, and a non hollow Verizion for the rare. Okay guys, last pack magic, here we go. Can we see one more hit from the Lugia pack art? Let's get this open here. Let's get this code out of the way for you, bam. And we got four more to the front for the last time today. Good luck with all of your Silver Tempest this weekend. Here we go, Quadstone, Regenerative Energy, Unidentified Fossil, Esper, Smeargle, Litten, The Petal, we got Chinchow. <laughs> Rock Ruff, there we go. Shout out to Rudy. That's some awesome last pack magic there. Adding Rock Ruff to the trainer gallery and a non hollow Colvallion for the last rare. Let's drop the, the Rock Ruff into a sleeve. I'm pretty happy with this booster box, guys. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new one every Wednesday and every Saturday. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in one of these older videos right here.